Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create Amazon product reviews for any product that you choose inside of Amazon. Now you might be choosing these products based on the commission that you're gonna be getting um, from a high value product, or you might be choosing these products based on your own website and the categories that you're gonna be promoting products for. No matter what product that you want to create Amazon product reviews for, I'm gonna be showing you a six step process that I use that allows me to always create these kind of articles that are going to be helpful for my users that are going to allow them and help them with their buying decision and hopefully i'm going to be able to bank the commission from this as well okay so i'm going to show you the six step process that i use and then after this i'm going to show you an article that i've created using this process and then i'm going to share everything with you and i'll actually go out there and create another article with you so that you can actually compare it and see how this works for different types of products so let me show you exactly what, what what I do myself to create these kind of affiliate product reviews or these Amazon product reviews. So the very first thing that I do is I send all of the details for the Amazon product to the AI and I ask the AI to create a report on this product. And in that report, I ask it to include things like what the product does, the name of the product, the unique selling points of the product, the features of the product, and what people are saying about this product, even its competitors for this product as well. Okay, so basically I want to make sure everything is included in this in this report because I'm going to then go ahead and use this report to create a detailed article outline from that report so then I can go ahead and create an article. Okay, so I'll go out and create a report that includes everything for that product. I'll then go out there and create an outline from that report. I'll then go out there and create an, um, an article from the outline. Okay, so this is the main basis of the article done. What I do then is I do three more steps. The very first step is I compile, I send the entire article that I've written to the AI, okay, and I tell it to read the article and take away and list some key takeaways that we can add towards the top of the article. And what this does, it, it when somebody comes over to your website and they see exactly what they're gonna learn from the article, the key takeaways from the article as well, and then they get into the article, this actually helps boost user engagement, it draws them in, and it makes sure that the user knows that they're gonna be getting what they want when they land on this page, okay? And what I do then is I then create a comparison table for the product that's being reviewed. Okay, so for example, this product here and also its competitors. And what this does is, is just like me and you guys, if we want to go out there and we want to buy a mic, we might not be sure if we want to buy the Blue Yeti mic, whether we want to buy this mic here or whether we want to go ahead and buy maybe the Samsung mic or some other podcasting mic. So this is where we have the opportunity to add these details on our page. And this is exactly what our users users and readers are looking for, especially when they're going out there to make a buying decision and they're not 100% sure yet and they're gonna to wanna to go out there and compare it with other products. So we go out there and add a table as well for that. And then finally, we give them a recap of exactly what they've learned, what we've gone through, and we also provide them with a call to action. Okay, there's gonna be call to action throughout this article. You're gonna probably have to go through it um, and add your call to actions in there, maybe add whatever it is that you want. Um, but the entire article, the way that we're gonna be creating it, is gonna be created in a really nice flow so that it takes the user throughout his entire journey journey uh, to make that buying decision. So let me show you an article of what I mean down here. So this article here is actually um, doing this here. Okay, so let me just show you and, sh and show you the areas and the sections that I'm on about. So it says, have you ever struggled to find the perfect microphone that enhances your audio quality while being budget friendly? The Zeal Sound USB microphone is here to solve that dilemma for content creators across various platforms. And then we give it some key takeaways or what they're going to be learning from here. Okay, and then we go out there and give it a comparison table, guys. So as you can see, we've got the Zeal Sound USB microphone, the product that we're reviewing. We also have the Rode NT USB and we also have the Blue Yeti mic down here as well. So these two might actually be, be, be might actually be better than the product that we're reviewing. But the way that I like to create these articles um, is to have a little bit of bias uh, towards the product that we're reviewing, because obviously that's the product that we're trying to get the user um, to do. But we also give them um, a proper comparison between the actual products as well, guys. Okay, and what you can see from here is that these paragraphs are nice and short. Okay, um, I've actually got instructions inside of my prompts to tell the AI 
to create these paragraphs nice and short. We've got some bold words in here. We've got some lists inside of here as well okay i've even added in this pro tip down here as well guys i'll show you the prompt that i use for this pro tip as well but the really cool thing about this obviously because this is just in the editor at the moment when this goes on my website then this gets styled into a nice little box like an alert box kind of thing uh, to really get the user's attention and to make the content look nicely more styled as well Okay, so as you can see, it's really, really cool, guys. Towards the bottom, we have a recap of key points and best practices as well. This is 1,366 words. Sometimes the articles are much longer. Sometimes the articles are shorter. But I'm going to be showing you, even though I did mention to you that I use six prompts to create this, in fact, I use many more prompts. But what I do, guys, is I use something like the Prompt Generator AI to automate everything for me. And the really cool thing about this is that no matter how long your strategies are, you don't have to copy-paste, copy copy paste open up new chats and add in whatever it is that you want to do every th every single strategy that you have inside of the prompt generator ai is designed to do one thing so for example this strategy here is designed to create me amazon product reviews all i have to do is add my url inside of this strategy and then it'll go out there and create the amazon product review for us so let me show you a demonstration of this and then i'll also show you my exact prompts as well okay so in here um, in Amazon, I'm just going to type in something like, I don't know, desktop fan. Okay, um, let's find a nice expensive desktop fan. Okay, hopefully it'll find one. Okay, let's go with this one here. Okay, I've never done a product review on this, guys. Um, it's got some details on here, which is great. It hasn't got too much details on here, actually. Look at that. Um... Let's use something better. Okay, you know what? We'll just do something like an LCD. We'll just do the Samsung LCD TV. Okay, so we'll do something like this here, the frame. Okay, it's cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to a prompt generator AI. I'm going to go over to the automation. And from the automation screen... I can select any category that I want. Inside of these categories, there's multiple strategies. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this Amazon product review strategy with you. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly add in my URL that I'm going to be creating the product review for. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on start. And what you can see from the top right here, guys, is you can see a countdown timer and you can see the number of prompts that we need to do to complete this strategy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on pause and I'll come back when it's complete. You're going to be able to see how long it took as well. And then we'll go over the actual article. OK, so this has been completed. As you can see, it took about 59 seconds, guys. OK, so I'm going to come along here and I'm going to import that article inside of here. OK, and you can see the article down here, guys. The very first thing I want to point out is we've got 1783 words. I just want to make sure I'm still recording. I am. OK, and now we're going to go through this article and I'm going to show you what we've done. OK, so this is now giving us a nice little um, introduction okay to the actual article it's making notes of what you're going to learn and then straight away we're giving it a comparison we're giving it a comparison with this samsung frame tv along with these two ones down here as well okay and then we're going ahead and we're giving it some nice details down here um, nice short paragraphs bold words um, i can't see too many lists inside of here but we do have lists in here i do have full instructions to the ai to create these kind of lists and to keep paragraphs short make nice use nice simple english as well okay you can see that pro tip that i was talking about earlier on so we've got that pro tip here as well and we've got the recap and key takeaways and we've got the practical tips and best practices as well now here's the real sweet thing about this guys what i can do is i can run this amazon amazon product reviews um strategy for one url for 10 urls for even 30 urls and what the software is going to do is it's going to go ahead and create an article for each one of those urls that we've actually gone out there and told it to do and all we have to do is come along and click on start just like you saw now guys and it'll take about a minute for these articles to get created and then you can come along here add your manual little touches to these articles if you want to if you want to go out there and post them first of all wait until you get some traction and then go out there and edit it it's entirely up to you 
my aim is to show you exactly what's needed to be inside of an article when you're looking to create product reviews about them guys we have to understand what our users are looking for we have to understand that our users are looking for comparisons they're looking for details and they're still unsure about what if they want to buy it or not so we need to so we need to go out there and create a compelling product review that provides them with all of the key details they need provides them with comparisons with other competitors and it also gives them call to actions and everything they need inside of here and hopefully we're going to be able to bank from these amazon products that people are going to be buying through us okay so what i'm going to do guys is i've actually got this strategy here as you can see um this is the strategy um instead of me going through each one of these prompts with you it is actually nine prompts well the ninth prompt is actually a save command but instead of me going through every single one of these with you i'm going to actually save this and i'm going to upload it to my google Google Drive and I'm going to leave a link underneath this video so that you can go through this in your own time and even if you don't have something like the prompt generator AI which does make it extremely easy and simple to do guys um, then you can actually go out there and you can prompt GPT or Gemini or you know Bing or Claude or Perplexity or whoever it is that you're working with uh, you can go out there and perform these with them. So anyway, guys, I thank you very much for your time. I really hope you enjoy this video. I really hope you can take away from this, guys, that when we are creating articles, when we are creating whatever it is that we're creating, guys, then it's very important that we try to make these articles in a way so that they're going to be helpful to our actual users. This is going to make sure that we get a boost on the time on site. This is going to make sure that people are going to be, you know, hopefully clicking our links and going to Amazon to find out more. And if they put it into the basket and buy, then we're going to be able to bank a commission on that. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoy this video.